we worship you hallelujah glory to god another great day to come together and worship the lord and be encouraged and strengthened i'd like to read this scripture from the book of 1st corinthians chapter 2 verse 5 paul is telling us that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of god you see the power of god is it's not limited to the natural circumstances of life we see how when jesus went about in the gospels he was working through the power of god the scripture in also in um, mark it says as he was on a or in luke 5:17 as it came to pass on a certain day as he was teaching it says the pharisees and the they were sitting by and and the last part of this verse says and the power of the lord was present to heal them as jesus went about everywhere he went his power was working and bringing healing into people power to rise up the paralytic man who was for 38 years bound in paralysis it was the power of the lord that went into his body and caused him to rise up again and all the healings that you read in the scripture it was the power of the lord that was working and the best part about it is that this power it's still available for us today hallelujah aren't you thankful you have the power of god in you you don't need to ask god for more and more power lord fill me with your power please give me more and more power all you need to do is say lord i thank you your power is already inside of me and it is working that's why you can speak to your physical body and say from head to toe i command you in jesus name the power of the lord is working in my body because as paul was saying in that scripture in 1 Corinthians 2:5 our faith stands not in the wisdom of men we don't just limit us as christians to our natural thinking or what we can feel but we put our faith in the power of god hallelujah shall we say that together say my faith stands in the power of god the power of god that brings healing to my body that brings wholeness and causes the dead to come to life thank you for your power that's working in me hallelujah praise god in fact also in ephesians paul says to know the exceeding greatness of his power god wants you to know his power so don't be limited to your five senses you know trust in that ability that god has given you Every day you can make declarations and say God it's it's not by my might it's not by my power but it's by your spirit and we can see every single day every single moment we can expect and believe God's power is working in us hallelujah praise God and all of you joining us online we're so glad that you're here the same power of God that is here with us it also can reach you wherever you're watching from believe today that you can be healed physically in your body mentally you can be restored david also said he restores my soul you can be restored in your mind you know the bible says that we have the mind of christ so don't speak words like well i can't remember things i have bad memory i'm just so afraid i can't think straight you know those are words that we just want to completely get rid of and we want to say I have the mind of Christ. God restores my soul. Speak to your mind, speak to your body. Is that's the power we have to talk to our circumstances. The word of God, not just empty words, but we speak the words of life that bring, you know, that can change anything that is dead. It can bring those to life because the words that we speak either they're full of death or they're full of life. So we don't want death working in us. We want to choose life and that comes from the word of God. So we pray that you'll be blessed and encouraged. Join us with the lyrics on the screen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Father, we glorify your holy name. We thank you this morning that you're reminding us that our faith does not stand in the wisdom of men, in the five senses, what we can feel, what we can see. But Lord, our faith that you put on the inside of us stands in your power. And Father, I thank you right now. You're reminding us of who we are in Christ. You've called us the righteousness of God in Christ. To be right standing with you. 
we don't come anymore as worthless as failures as nothings but we can stand in your presence righteous right standing with God and I praise you and I honor you and I thank you, Lord, for your anointing that is here, destroying yokes of bondage. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's, this first song we're going to declare, I am the righteousness of God in Christ. Righteous means you're right with God. You can call yourself, I am the righteousness of God. Don't call yourself worthless and nothing. Call yourself what God calls you. You have his own nature. Amen. Let's rejoice in him. Thank you. 
say, the righteous are bold as lions. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That's our identity in Christ, who he has called us to be. No matter what people have said against you, God will never change his mind what he says about you. When you accepted Christ into your life, you got God's very own nature, which is righteousness. So we don't need to, if you've been, you know, you don't have to call yourself, but if, if any, you know, person has called you anything that is worthless or failure or nothing, that's not who you are. Who you are is what God has called you to be. That's what we were singing and saying, God, I have your very own nature, which is the righteousness of God in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's sing this next song, simple song, telling the Lord how much we love him and how we're thankful that he saved us when we were dying. Hallelujah. Let's continue to praise him.
sing from Proverbs chapter 4 verses 20 my son attend to my words this is the Lord telling us incline or pay close attention your ear unto my sayings let them not depart from your eyes keep them in the midst of your heart for they are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh what a wonderful word that he's given us it says health to all of our flesh that's a healing promise so as we attend to his words as we pay close attention and say God your word is my medication that's one of the meanings of the word health there it's medicine to our flesh as you take his words of healing it's working like medicine in your body and so right now let's sing this promise over ourselves and say God I thank you as I give attention to you I, I know the result of your word is only bringing life to me it's not working death the enemy comes to steal kill and destroy our health healing anything that is destruction is from the enemy but when you come to the word of God and you it becomes real to you his word will work life in the midst of that death will destroy the power of death and bring health to all of your flesh and even those of you watching us online right now sing this promise along with us as you speak to your body and say God I believe that this word is working life not death in me it's health and medication to my flesh hallelujah let's take his promise receive your healing today right now
a promise in Matthew he said Matthew eleven twenty eight. come unto me all you that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest what a wonderful word he gives us rest from all labors from anything that is heavy whatever life throws at you come unto Jesus that's where you find the rest that you need rest in your soul rest in your body that's where you find it. That's in Him. And the next verse He says, Take my yoke upon me and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly. I'm humble. And you shall find, again He says, rest unto your souls. Hallelujah. Receive the rest He has for you. You see, He was carrying all of your burdens. All of the weight of the world was on His shoulder and on His back and on His whole body when he was hanging up there on the cross. All the burdens of life, every anxiety, fear, worry, sickness, disease, poverty, all that was laid on him all at once. And this song says, you carried my burden so that I might go free. Jesus came to set us free, not to keep us bound. You don't have to be bound by anything that is disturbing you. Jesus said, come to me and I will give you rest. And as we sing this, begin to see that you are free. It's important what we see on the inside, our image on the inside of us. The devil might say, you're bound. You can't ever be free from this. That's a lie. Jesus said, when you know the truth, the truth will set you free. Won't keep you bound. So let's put all our burdens aside and say, all that burden, the weight, don't carry it any longer. Jesus say, I'm just casting all of this onto you and I receive your freedom. Hallelujah. He carried all of your burden 
you don't have to be burdened anymore receive his rest today thank you lord
because Jesus set you free. Cast all your cares on Him, for He cares for you. He's freed us right now. deliver us. You're the great deliverer, Lord. You set the captives free. You set us at liberty. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. We are free indeed because as we know His truth, it sets us free. 